today's uh, yesterday we discussed about uh, different kinds of uh, tissues introduction also and uh, today's class we will discuss about uh, epithelial tissue here so epithelial tissue is most important here and yesterday if you remember we discussed about uh, these chicken piece yesterday's topic we discussed about chicken piece and uh, what are the muscles are present here and uh, when our hand just uh, goes uh, blood oozing that means with injury what kind of uh, things will be getting we have discussed here and in today's class we will discuss about epithelial tissue understood here we discuss about uh, uh, squamous epithelium squamous epithelium is the first uh, tissue epithelial tissue types are there in this and uh, squamous epithelium is the first type of the tissue in this chapter so tissues you need to remember uh, why because direct question will be there explain about the epithelial tissue so this this type of tissue classification will be there and that also most important and uh, you need to remember each and every topic here and how to differentiate let me zoom this uh, uh, image here you can see here uh, epithelial tissue first tissue it is so what is the use of this first tissue here this is most important in case of lining of our lungs so our lungs will be there these three things you need to remember very important our lungs and inside our mouth inside our mouth and also in case of cell membranes in case of cell membranes these lining will be seen and also in blood vessels these three parts you need to remember first thing lungs are made up of this squamous tissue mouth lining inside mouth lining will be there you know, teeth will be there and inside the um, jaws so here you can see about a squamous epithelium tissue and uh, you can also find uh, this all in case of blood vessels lungs and also in case of mouth these three linings this membrane is made up of our body only we are knowing our body how our body membranes are made up of uh, we are discussing that topic only now and uh, this is important and uh, if you remember these topics are uh, most important for our ninth class squamous epithelial tissue if you see that uh, parts are very few if you see parts are just a few parts will be there if you see uh, single basement membrane is there single basement membrane here can you see this is a single basement membrane and having very big nucleus and serially arranged cells are there that means in our mouth inside our mouth these kind of things are there lungs also now coronavirus is eating this kind of epithelium only so that only infections are getting much and people also dying within few days if not taken care so this is about squamous epithelial tissue so where they are present here inside our mouth lungs and again blood vessels blood our blood will be moving here and there so that blood will be made up of uh, the blood uh, vessels are made up of the tubes of blood vessels are made up of this squamous epithelial tissue so uh, then uh, this and to say this is a very uh, most sensitive part sensitive membrane in our body and uh, epithelial tissues what is the main work of epithelial tissues here first thing epithelial tissues uh, are forming uh, our uh, protection inside our body and outside our body so these these um, cells these tissues will help uh, inside and outside of our body and also these serves as a connective tissue that means it connects uh, one place to another place and uh, this also forms uh, um, for muscular tissue that means this is responsible for muscular tissue also and also for nervous tissue so very important here epithelial tissue is important for protection and it serves as connective tissue it serves as muscular tissue and it also serves as nervous tissue and most important here kidneys are also lined by this epithelial tissues kidneys are lined by this epithelial tissues in fact what is the meaning of epithelial tissue here ep means it is outer telium means it is tissue outer tissue epi means above also outer epi means outer or above 
then we just go to next can you answer these kind of questions how cells are arranged here linear pattern are there any intercellular spaces no no any intercellular spaces are the directly one cell one cell one cell one cell like that it is there next issue we will discuss about here cuboidal epithelium cuboidal epithelial tissue this is the cuboidal epithelium tissue here cuboidal epithelium tissue you can see like this cubes are arranged cubes are arranged and having very big nucleus and they have single basement membrane like this basement membrane will be present these are the cuboidal epithelial uh, tissue and where they are present saliva glands so daily you will be getting saliva so that saliva you need to thank these cells only and also urine formation wherever water materials are there wherever water water forming urine saliva sweat tears so there these membranes are there why because they feel complete water understood urine urine formation also uh, will be present urine formation also this kind of epithelial tissues are there so they are nearly uh, compactly arranged here without any cellular spaces and having very bigger bigger nucleus here and they are present in mouth that means salivary glands and they are present in urine uh, layers that means ureters heart is ureter which makes urine sweat glands so these are the things understand and we can see uh, and this is the accurate picture of the uh, cuboidal epithelium tissue and in our textbook it is important that wherever you see do you know wherever you see just do you know you need to remember here sometimes a portion of epithelial tissue uh, folds inward and uh, for, uh, formed a multicellular gland hence it is called as glandular tissue so epithelial tissue sometimes glands are formed so that glands are sometimes we can call it as a glandular tissue understood and uh, glandular epithelial tissue wherever glands are there then we can say it as a glandular tissue next tissue it is important that uh, columnar epithelium columnar epithelium uh, just now we have seen cuboidal now this is columnar like this columns will be there very very big columns will be there here and uh, they are having higher nucleus very big nucleus and having one basement membrane so these are present internally if you see with the microscope then we can uh, understand that and these are having no any cellular gaps here directly compactly closed no cellular spaces are present and if you see these kind of uh, epithelial tissues uh, are present only in case of absorption and secretion for example in stomach and intestine they are present so these kind of things we can see only in case of stomach and intestine and uh, in other uh, uh, organisms how we can see for example in case of uh, uh, fishes in case of fishes this epithelial tissue is form forms like a uh, scales for fishes body uh, have you seen scales are present these are the scales so these scales are made up of epithelial tissue and uh, have you seen snails So snails, this shell will be there. That is also made up of epithelial tissues. And uh, hair, have you seen? Hair, usually human hair or animal hair, that is made up of epithelial tissues. Nails, Sunday, Sunday you will take, no? So that nails also made up of epithelial tissue. So these are the important types of epithelial tissues there. So we discussed about the different kinds of tissues here. If you see, under uh, this epithelial tissue introduction we have seen. And uh, we discussed about the squamous epithelial tissue. And next we discussed about cuboidal epithelial tissue and columnar epithelial tissue. So this is for today's class.